why would you build a robot you can't fuck? That's why we hired the scientist as well. <laughs> On his quest to obtain enough funds to make the first fuckable bulldozer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh -huh. Right, hang on a second. Give her 18 bouquets of lilies. Begin side quest. This is like the mechanic all over again. What's going to do with all these fucking lilies? Just the entire desk is going to be lilies. <laughs> Just 18 lilies? I'm going to assassinate 12 people. What? Because lilies are what you put on the graves at a funeral. Yes, but if you have 18 lilies, why are you only killing 12 people? Because um, some of them get double the amount of lilies because they're more important. Oh, we've got a fucking well, wall. I just imagine like, an assassin, like his long-time rival, finally managed to kill us. He turns to his grave saying, uh, "I brought you some lilies," and just gets like a uh, wheelbarrow and just starts turning them on one at a time. So like, and, and he gets well, just dumps them all on, saying, oh, "I'm gonna miss you," and just he can barely see the head because his entire grave's got fucking lily. If they don't do that joke in No More Heroes Free, I'm fucking losing. Well. Uh, if that doesn't happen at your funeral, you're not going? Yeah, no, I'd love that to happen at my funeral. <laughs> so, like, sadly, they're going to have to navigate putting the flowers into my giant bag of strawberry licorice, which I'll be buried in. You'll be buried in the bag? Yeah, like, put me in a bag of strawberry... this fucking Ant-Man? They'll shrink your corpse, put it in there, and then put that in the coffin, just this tiny plastic container in the coffin and then bury that no 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 put me into a giant but like make a giant bag and bury me in that so is it just giant bag or do you want to actually fill with candy as well as you yeah put me in and some giant strawberry licorice and then giant strawberry licorice not just lots of strawberry licorice uh and just imagine you run down for like your funeral plans like, does it have to be giant licorice can't just be like no it must be giant <laughs> It needs to be novelty fucking sights. Also, bury me under a lighthouse so that I can haunt it. A lighthouse? Yeah, bury me under a lighthouse. What well, the uh, so people are saying, like, yes, unfortunately, this lighthouse was uh, buried on a, uh, was built over a burial ground. What, an Indian burial ground? No, just a regular one. But the guy who died there is a real dick. His ghost keeps haunting us just for fun. Also, occasionally the walls will bleed soup. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine like recreating that scene from uh, Spongebob Last Night just, and the walls will bleed soup and the guy just licks it minestrone he's in a foul foul mood <laughs> pretty much this is a fucking intro about you haunting a lighthouse and make it bleed fucking soup well where is you what building do you want me to fucking haunt and make soup bleed from the walls a soap line true Oh, well, you can have your corpse shipped over uh, to Japan for that reason. So they'll have to, you know, demolish a soap land and then bury in that land and then remake the soap land just so they can say the soap land was built on the burial <laughs> We're going to need a we're going to need a lot more subscribers so that we can earn well, the money. We need more money. than Twitch money to do all that. Is yeah, that your li life goals. Like, uh, that's so is that where all the Twitch money's going towards your fucking funeral plan? It is now. Sam, we need to bury me under a lighthouse and or so plant. Oh, you're gonna split your ashes or something, or is it just no? You're not gonna be uh, turned into ash. You just want your cores just chopped in fucking half, bifurcated, and what? So you'd only be able to half haunt. What is this like a timeshare or something? You can only haunt. At the lighthouse half the year, and you haunt the soul land the other fucking half. So which one of them is your fucking summer home? The legs can haunt the soap land, and my upper torso with the brain will haunt the um, lighthouse. No, I was I was going the other way, just it's like straight down the middle, like each uh, side. I didn't know you're going like that. That'd be terrible, because then I'd have to split my eyeballs between two locations. Yeah, that's probably where you're going with this. Uh, going full Mister Nobody or whatever it was Mister Negative. If I knowed what the funeral director had in store for me, I would have paid double. John's just like, I'm going to need more drinks. Yes, John. Yes, yes, you are. Yes, you will. You've finally joined us on the Insanity train. <laughs> right, let me I'll just... get my cooking story out of the way. Um, yeah, go, go on, get your cooking story out of the way. Cooking? I didn't mention cooking. Was it not cooking story? No! Sorry, my mistake. Why do you assume cooking? Uh, so I said a short story. Oh, you cooked something that went hilariously wrong. <laughs> uh, no. Were you trying to cook strawberry licorice? 
Why would you fucking cook it? <laughs> Gotta make it nice and hard. Mm. What? Be like crispy cooked strawberry licorice. Are you the sort of person who likes boiled Pepsi? No, only as a method of self defense. You boil it and then you can crumble it up and use it to keep the ghosts out. The ghosts out because no one wants to. No one wants to haunt a location that even has boiled Pepsi. They're just like, man, no. This is some guy we don't want to mess with if he's doing shit like this. <sighs> my boys, let's just, you know, haunt a brothel or something. Pretty much. Like, who's Ira? Is she just a random, like, bartender? Or? No, no, she's the bartender from David Hayter's Metal Gear themed bar. The one there above right now. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just David Hater has to like tend to customers while trying to make them ignore the sound of Ichiban aggressively fucking in the room above him. Uh, I'm just imagining like, uh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, what are they doing up there? Other people's lives don't interest. Me. I guess you are my little pog champ. Wait, what? No, John. Why would you do that? You're gonna get us banned. <laughs> Does this mean we're going to have to ban him to save our channel? No, no, PogChamp's not a banned word. Just the emo, it's banned. I'm not surprised they'll probably ban that next. Just talk about it, it's like forbidden fruit. You're saying people talk about the emo. People might remember it actually existed at one point. We can't have that. Just, just for reference though, you are aware that he's talking about the one where David Hayter did the line? I haven't seen that one. Oh, he's just put the line saying because uh, Hayter did it in the vid. I didn't know. David Hayter does a lot of stuff in vids, including the t famous Taco Bell order. Honestly, if they ever do like a Mass Effect 4, Fem Chef offers them a perfect fucking way to get out of the boss ending of free. Go full Dallas and just forget it existed. No, they could very easily pull like a Hitchhiker's. Okay, you remember Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy at the end of the last book? Written by the original author, everyone dies at the end because the Earth explodes. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. And then Ian Coulter wrote the sixth book. And that book, like, the start of it is everyone escaping from the Earth exploding because the president shows up with um, the universe hopping ship at the last second because the improbability drive. I thought that's where it turns out it's all a simulation by the new version of the book, which is a nope. metallic book. Nope, that was, no, that was the previous book. Six, oh. bo six book opens up. I, can, I can't remember his name. Uh, Zephyr Bieber box. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, Zaphod shows up with the improbability drive and teleports everyone off at the Earth at literally the last second. Which is how the sex book begins and gets around the ending of the last one. Like, Mass Effect 3 could very... Like, if you did, if they did a fourth game, they could very easily just go, like... Just go full on alternate universe and have it so that, like... The ending of... It was one potential universe or something. No, no, like, the ending of 3 doesn't happen because something, like... In the course of trying to stop the Reapers, they accidentally somehow smack their universe into another universe, which is the one with Femshap. Like, use that as a plot device to interrupt the shit ending of free, and then do an entirely new plot, where regular Shepard has to team up with Femshap. It's time to go into Bioshock Infinite territory. No, pretty much. What was it saying? Uh, where they making Cerberus like the enemy was probably a bad idea. They could have... Um... I have mentioned this before. They could have made them helping the alliance and things. Uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Uh, think of that. Well, they do a lot of the dirty work, but allow the alliance to defend the core worlds and things. And at the start you. of it, uh, the elusive man donates the ship to the alliance, which scores some major bounty points and things. And he still like um, does odd jobs for the elusive man indirectly because he tells Shepard and he clears away the alliance because he, of course, he would have information on various things. And Shepard would be the best person to send because he's an expert on uh, Reaper stuff right now. And that could have been a lot better, but now they fucked it up. Exactly. So, like, do a, do, do a new game that interrupts the ending of the previous one, and they can just write the fuck whatever to get them out of the shit plot. Well, with Andromeda, because I played it, and I, there's any vague hints to what's happened in 3, that the Reapers invade, but there's nothing more than that. Yeah, except they can't do that forever, though, so, like, they are going to have to address it and find a way to wipe that ending off the board. Da -da -da. Summon lightning and get rid of these guys quickly. I don't need to waste the MP, but fuck it, let's just speed through this. Look, I got places to be, I need to bang several women. Appreciate it if you just eat this lightning and fucking die, right? Uh, are you 
look, I know you're getting a bit horny, but there's no reason to go really harsh on them. No, no, there's every reason to go really harsh on them. But it's been 16 hours since I, uh, since I banged someone. Yeah, but you went for like four rounds of that one. Yeah. Only four. I think, I do believe, that she's the last one. And then we can get to the Persona 5 bit. Persona 5, oh, where well, you... Where recruit. everyone beats the shit out of him for two-timing them. Well, so they, uh, he recruits all his uh, mistresses to the company, and he's like, uh, is she? Uh, quick question, uh, have you fucked any of these women? Well, yes, all of them. That's what drew me to uh, high level thing company. Um, can I word you in the other room? Also the rumba. What, you fucked the Roomba? Oh, I was drunk and uh, we had a few drinks and things happened. You fucked the Roomba. Why would a what scientist even build a flashlight into a Roomba anyway? Why would you build a robot you can't fuck? <laughs> That's why we hired the scientist as well. <laughs> oh dear. On his quest to obtain enough funds to make the first fuckable bulldozer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good. There's the fucking opening quote. Well, talking about someone turning a Roomba into a sexual gratification device. <laughs> Better or worse than the bulldozer. Well, the bulldozer would hit hard. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> John's just in the chats. Confounds those yakuza boys. They drive me to drink. We go to some strange places in these streams, Sam. We? Oh, you're along for the ride. You can't get out of it now. <laughs> That's like you tying me up, uh, shoving me in the passenger seat of a car, and you drive along saying, "Wow." This road trip, we go in some weird places. I mean, uh, trying to speak for my gang and saying, well, I, it's not as if I can go anywhere. Um, <laughs> Just join me for the ride, Sam, and uh, think about the consequences of your actions later. So for some reason, the rumors make me think of what Amazon... I don't think you know if they're scraps or not. The mobile cages. Um, did you see that? <laughs> no, it reminds me. It's basically like mobile offices. It's not quite a forklift, but... People that move around the uh, <laughs> the massive warehouses in like very small. Yeah, yeah, I I, I remember the goddamn four chan comments on that shit. Yeah, I knew about that because way too weird to get a mobile KG. <laughs> There's also I don't know if this was a Babylon B thing. There's those screen booths or something. They're supposed to like med meditation booths, but four chan just know that yeah, the screen booth just uh, Wojak in there uh, shouting. No, apparently that's a thing at, like, Amazon or some shit where people go to yell because they're emotionally distressed from the job. And it's like, Christ, can we hurry the fuck up and eat Jeff Bezos? Did you say eat Jeff Bezos? Well, are they, uh, is he, one of the reasons they're trying to stop the uh, work from unionizing is because together they'll pool their money and hire Marlon Brando to take care of their uh, workplace, um, for workplace pay. I, I wish it was that simple. Just hire Marlon Brando to eat Jeff Bezos. Just do it. Well, he will uh, sneak into his house, wait for him to come back from work, and disguise himself as his like souped-up personal version of Alexa. Yeah. Alexa, <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's time for your untimely death. Thank you, Alexa, did I install a new voice mod? Yeah. They like takes off the fake message. <laughs> Can I be warning actor Marlon Brando? How did you get in my house? Just why you, and why are you sitting on my shelf? <laughs> no, 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 no. No wonder my shelf is broken. Why is he wearing a fake mustache to disguise as Alexa? Surely he'd just, like, stick an Alexa box on his head. That's true, yeah. They tape it to his face. <laughs> yeah. And so he replies, and he's like, no wonder my desk is broken. How the hell did you get in here? I ate the door. <laughs> <sighs> it's not even mahogany. Fuck's <laughs> sake. How long were you eating my door? A uh, good five minutes. Um. <laughs> I love... I, just, just, people often think that eat the rich is an ancient Greek proverb. It's not. It's actually just like the prophecy of what's going to happen when Marlon Brando gets resurrected. Oh, God. <laughs> like, like, 
Marlon Brando's not actually buried in his real grave. That's just a fake grave to stop them from, like, fighting the real one. Fuck's sake. How uh, is so, it? Uh, people pred- uh, in this game, uh, Namba, using his seer powers when he had the crystal ball, predicted how Marlon Brando would end. People would convince him uh, to go into the middle of the, the Vietnam diamond mine, go to the very bottom because someone told him there was a subway there. Um, and then they fill the mine with all sorts of rubble and concrete and things and bury him until he starves to death in a couple hundred years. Yeah, but like, how is it that Marlon Brando has become like our best recurring character and he's been dead for fucking 17 years? Or has he? <laughs> he's an Academy Award winning actor. If he was alive, no one would be able to tell. True. Oh. <laughs> It turns out that Donald Trump was just an elaborate ploy by Marlon Brando. No, Donald Trump is anorexic well, compared to Marlon Brando. Even he was sort of a ball. No, 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 that's just how good his acting skills are. He's just pretending to be that Finn. So where's the real Donald Trump then? <laughs> no, this is the twist. There is no Donald Trump. It's always been Marlon Brando. What? Think about it. Like, what's Donald Trump? Like, don't think about it. <laughs> He's yourself. the ultimate sleeper. <laughs> yeah. He's been able to walk time and space to be in two different places at the same fucking time. No, no, re- really, Sam. Think about it. Because, like, Donald Trump is an award winning film actor. Granted, he's, he did. He's won awards? Granted, he didn't win the awards for being in the movie, but he was still in a movie. Sorry, he's a cult winning actor. He didn't win the awards for his acting. Uh, he won the awards for something completely different. He's a award winning actor. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> he's an actor. He won an award. Is that saying, uh huh, I'm a medical doctor? <laughs> well, actually, I'm a nurse. I got a doctorate in geophysics. Uh, that technically makes me a medical doctor. Right? And he, t- he just takes off the wig and the girdle, it turns out. <laughs> like, it was Marlon Brando all along. He actually made out of cold old fucking steel to compress that guy. <laughs> He's very well trained at what he does. Hang on a second, I can't find the goddamn last romance of quest. Isn't it funny how, with all these romance of quest it, uh, areas in your party, she's watching all of this and try not to. Uh, yeah, John, pocket dimension corset. <laughs> oh, the finest of corset. Just don't ask where the just don't ask where the other end of the pocket dimension is. Six and a half hours later. There we go. Yeah, now we'll just have to keep on in with this then. I think your friend's here. You know this guy, right? Oh yeah, we were meeting Nick. That was it. Hey, thanks for all the help. Report to Wolf Angel. We'll so bang, okay? Issue, yeah, do you really think it's a good idea to be, you know, banging your yeah, financial investor? Well, it's not against the rules. I mean, Harry, is it against the rules? Uh, and she pulls out her, like, sheet of rules, there's still just the two. <laughs> nope. I mean, I had a meeting in ten minutes. We'll have to make it a quick one. Okay. So Aoki ordered Sawashiro to kill Masumi Arakawa. Our first move was to tell Aoki there's a recording of him giving that order in the Arakawa family office. What? Is there really? Of course not. Huh? It's bullshit, and he totally knows that. But the beauty of it is... He can't risk ignoring it, because if there's even a 1% chance it's true... Oh yeah, that's right, because we had a recording of the Chief of Police. So now, he has to do a sweep of the... Well, they were faking having a recording to draw him out of hiding. Turn the whole Arakawa office upside down looking for it. Not just Sawashiro's. Yeah, plus I told him we were planning to go get the recording. Ah, what wacky fucking plot twist will they hit us with this time, Sam? It's actually a recording of uh, the soap landowner who hung himself, the full virgin. Uh, The police had to confiscate it because it was just too horrific for any member of the public to listen to it. Oh, dear. Here's here's a bit of advice to politicians. Why why do you think Psycho drinks so much? She listened to it on the phone. (laughs) <laughs> what, she kept on the phone for the entire time he was killing himself? Well, yeah, remember. Um, she, well, she was until she dialed Itchy. Uh, when into the other room, she used the phone to dial Itchy. Um, so she didn't know the number for the police, and then accidentally dialed the US police. Uh, so she didn't even hear the full version. 
Oh dear. The top 12 pieces of Lost Bezier, number 64. The soap lab manager's final words on tape. I remember the Chinese only came in uh, just after you did the deed and uh, it went into the spooky shit. Look, let's just leave, leave all calling cards, and if anyone asks, uh, we just kill them, right? If we try to explain to someone, one, two, three, can have them. One, uh, they'd go insane, or two, they'd never believe us. Now, this is the thing, the Chinese have the full tape, we need to track it down. They're keeping, oh, the, God. They're keeping the full tape in a vault next to the Steve Irwin daft tape. We need, <laughs> we need to get our hands on those tapes, Sam. What? No, it'll be worse than watching the fucking ring. <laughs> Instead of uh, a demon can't kill you in seven days, if you watch that, you'd wish a demon can't kill you in seven days. No, no, you watch the tape, and the ghost of Steve Irwin just appears behind you to disapprove of you. And despite, is that his plan to like ruin his political career? Instead of like when he's on a rally showing like his like campaign videos, is he just switches it out for like the recording of the sort of landowner? And everyone's so horrified that the young masses political party would show someone like this to the public he'll lose like all support. Wasn't that literally just what happened in Batman Returns? What? Like, it wasn't a sax tape, it was like recordings of Danny DeVito, but still, I'm pretty sure that was the plot of a goddamn Batman movie. There's a double-edged sword strategy where, sure, yeah, he'll lose all support, but a large segment of Tokyo's population will need fucking therapy. <laughs> oh, only the people watching the TV. Yeah, and if he's uh, a serious politician, he'd put like major airtime, and so... But now, a uh, probably political broadcast from inside the party. And then people watching her, Mommy, what's he doing with that orange? Don't look funny. But meanwhile, in a twist of stupidity, Ichiban's accidentally lost his own political tape. And instead, they accidentally broadcast a bootleg version of Pootie Tang. B bizar bizarrely, it makes Ichiban's approval ratings go up. I just expected that Nando was supposed to like put the real one in any of uh, which tape is it? Uh, this one. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna have to do a fucking review of that movie on the channel at some point. Well, is that an actual film? Oh yeah, no, that's an actual black exploitation film. <laughs> oh god. Scary movie free so fucking god though. And just imagine it uh, bolsters his political acumen because no, if she stands up for, like, the Soblan donors and things. Yeah. Oh, so they think that Pooty Tang is his political enforcer. Oh, no, they think that they, uh... They've created a that like, endorsement for the film. I right, to use the film in those political ads or something. Oh, God. Why do the Soblan donors care about, a ja care about an American black exploitation film? It has nothing to do with that. It's, um... It's Ishii's political thing where um, he was supposed to, like, on cue, put the tape in to uh, broadcast Ishii's political message, but Namba accidentally put in the tape for Pretty Dang. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Even after his... Even after... Minutes in, Namba, why have you changed the... Why haven't you changed the tape yet? You're supposed to be playing my uh, campaign rally. And then he's like, shh, it's going to be the good one. <laughs> you know you're broadcasting this to, like, a million people in Tokyo. Ari's just in the background. It's weird. His approvals are actually going up. We're getting more viewers. And the only problem the Tokyo government has... Not that they're showing, like, a black exploitation film. They didn't have the license for it. Yeah, they didn't have license to distribute it in that way, so they get done for copyright and have to pay a fee. No, no, no. Japan, like, copyright law works differently in Japan, Sam. Mm. Oh? Kit, how, why do you think Araki doesn't have to change the names for the Japanese version? Oh, oh! So they can get it to the Japanese going. It's just totally fine of it. Well, they're watching on like security cameras, just on like uh, these big screen TVs, watching Pooty Tang. Yeah, like they're not so going to. People, gonna smart fuck. criminals, know this, and so they're just robbing everyone. Everyone's too engrossed by the film, and all the security guards watching the like cameras to catch criminals. But also, they point at the camera just to look at the screen to watch fucking Pooty Tang. <laughs> This film would better be fucking good when we get around to watching it. You're using a <laughs> megaphone for our stream, that's illegal. What, you think I've got my uh, microphone set up on my desk, got a megaphone, and I'm just shouting through it? No, no, he thinks that people are outside your house, Bleach Japan is outside your house, telling you that the stream's a grey zone. 
<laughs> oh, he's not wrong. We're the greatest of streams and the blobbiest. Yeah. How am I supposed to carry on after that? We've revealed what Ishii's plan is. It's like Hail Mary. is to swap the old master's tape out for um, that guy killing himself, which achieves two things. One, it shows the world what really happened. They didn't kill himself. Well, no, it's fine. It's fine, because um, the young master has a backup plan. Like, in order to counter it on showing Pootie Tang, he brings in his new spin doctor, Fred Fox, played by Gilbert Gottfried. No, I'm just mind that Ishii plays his tape first, and then you almost like, God damn it, we have to top this. Put in the tape. Sure, sure, just do it. And it's just, just around, oh god, how is this worse? No, no. Why can't I stop watching? This man looks good for a man in his 50s. Or 60s. Christ. The callbacks. What? Was he in some of the other games? Oh no, wait, he'd only be late in his 40s. Yeah, no, he's in the first game. Anyway, He's Kiryu's equivalent to Koichi. Oh. Well, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Go on, get some rest. It's late. You sure? Any friend of Adachi Senpai is a friend of mine. From what I've heard, you've got a big day. It's nice. It's nice that they stalk in a fortune of characters from the other games. Take care. Just to, like, cheeky little send off to him. Well, send off, you think all three C's. Uh, which tape do you think the next day in the political rally would cause him to kill himself? Watching the whole of, like, Poochie Tang being broadcast to like, a million people? Or watching the other tape? No, I, I just mean that they're setting it up so that when they do the next game in Echiban's story, he doesn't have to rely on side characters from the previous games. Because they can give him his own side cast. Yeah. Oh god, wait, no, what's he doing? Oh, I'll never be able to look at a fruit basket the same way again. Uh, then he gets out his, but um, I forget what the actual full type of was like, a short katana? I better commit Sudoku. Uh, oh, dear. And then, like, just while he's in the middle of it, the knife gets stuck, and suddenly he hears the worst possible thing. Did somebody say fruit basket? What, you think he's just, uh, just listening in his house? No, even Marlon Brando being no. grossed by both tapes. Marlon it's... Brando just so happens to be driving past while watching both tapes on his portable TVs. No, you wouldn't need to because they've been broadcast on like, public uh, TVs. And hell, for him to cross a uh, time text room to uh, go the length of a street, he'd be able to watch the entire length of Pretty Dad. <laughs> Should I open it? Oh, God. No, he's recorded the things and he's watching them for um, later viewing. Well, you think he's pirating as well. He gets, like, a camcorder, just sets on, like, the roof of the, like, uh, driver's cab in front of him, because he's, of course, on the back of the truck. And it's time to say, well, I'm going to record this for later. And and they say to him, don't go too fast now, I want to catch this last bit. And then they start playing Young Masters one. And like, oh, God, driver, don't look, don't look, don't look at, oh, God, what's he doing? No, don't look. <laughs> the driver accidentally crashes their truck. Into well, it. Crash it going like five miles an hour. Yeah. So, I imagine the driver just gets out of the, uh, the truck and just starts running away. He's like, no, god damn it. How am I going to get anywhere now? <laughs> no, no, the, tr the truck keeps going and rolls into a construction site. And then Marlon Brando gets pinned under a steel girder and has to eat his way out. Like, Marlon Brando's the reason why the Millennium Tower's reconstruction got set back. Oh, Mr. Brando, please stop eating the the finance. Please stop eating the foundations of that building. Almost said the finances then. The finances. Yeah. Talk about black hole in the budget. You think he's literally eating the budget? He he just eats the metaphysical concept of money, and then uses it to buy the stock prices. <laughs> it's all coming together, Sam. I just imagine he's crushed by the girders, and once he's free, he just starts eating a building. He's like, Mr. Brando, <laughs> what are you eating there? You're already free. Yes, but I have a taste for concrete now. Also, it's been several hours since I last ate. What are you talking about, Mr. Brandy? You've been eating nothing but steel girders for the past hour to free yourself. Yes, that was then. This is now. Call me a taxi to Romania while I eat this next building. Now that's a couple of years from this point. He still has a couple of contracts left in Tokyo. <laughs> True. Oh, dear. I just wanted to say, so, so go, What? how do you feel about being banged so, uh, so hard you can barely walk? I don't know, I've never tried on so. Uh, do you want to, what, do you mean banging me so hard I can barely walk? 
No, 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 no. That's not how this works. It cheat. And I say, oh, I don't think you can do that. I mean, you can never go enough rounds. Oh, really? See, I imagine it goes the other way, and she just pulls out the strap on. Yeah, that's the angle I was going for. That's it. Well, we don't have to use that, do we? And then a few hours later, I just like, oh. And just that sound effect from uh, the Brian David Gilbert video where he, he like crashes on like three different kinds of monster. Just that's him just lying on his bed. To go, oh. And Psycho put on a clothes and just leaves and says, "Told you I'll be able to break you." Well, see you tomorrow, Ishii. You just hear Ichi mumble, "Let's go again," <laughs> while Psycho's out the door going to work. I doubt there's a girl who'll be up for dating some idiot that just got out of the slammer. Really? We have taken this to such extremes. I'm sure there's plenty of. Well, a lot of time the game has lined up with our bullshit. Yeah. It, it's like it lines up our bullshit so much that no one will ever believe us. <laughs> oh god! If only we had a recording of all this to prove that um, this happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness that we have a man on that. He's put a camera on the roof. <laughs> oh dear. So we can pirate our stream illegally to download for later. Well, so he's got his uh, computer set up for our stream, and he's got a camcorder he's set up on his desk to record the stream, so that way he can see the stream later on, even though uh, Twitch already has that fucking functionality. You know, some people actually do that. Like, some people will actually handicam record streams, because sometimes, like, artists won't record the streams. Well, just depends, like, yeah, but the Twitch is too good quality. I want the old, like, VHS-style quality. So someone's going to re-upload this stream, uh, like, unedited, but massively down the quality level, and just add unregistered <laughs> Hypercam 3. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You'd be amazed at what people will do for streams sometimes, some. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, let's, um, let's wrap up this subplot. Uh, yes, I do like some, but I don't know if you can handle him. He, I, he can handle me. I mean, he's a little fragile compared to me. And then she's like dying and like, I'm the fragile one? How strong is this boy? I love the And then Itchy just completely misses the point about her tangent. Yeah, he just goes, wow, he sounds like, a, uh, he sounds like an asshole. You should dump him. No, he literally just said that. <laughs> Uh, remember two seconds ago when this will go the game lining up with a bullshit? It just lines up so goddamn well, and it's amazing. <laughs> That's right, you chug that alcohol. It's coke, actually. Well, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's coke. I feel like I need something stronger than regular alcohol. I've just liquidized yeah, I said cocaine. In the previous stream, um, I want a function level by the time I'm 30. Oh... Then you should stop having an alcoholism problem. Then you accuse me of being an alcoholic when I'm saying I'm not drinking alcohol. Oh, no! I... You're drinking Coke, which is much worse. I'm sure you're always. No, I'm drinking Dr Pepper. Uh huh. How long until you start boiling it, Sam? Once you once you go boiled, it never goes back. John Smith said, "This is Purple Heart." Oh dear. This is crack. See, well, this is love, baby, don't hurt me. But someone's getting hurt if they start going for, like, the sixth round. Fuck's sake. Right, good. Time to bring all of the goddamn romance subplots to a head. I'm just imagining, I kind of hint on this, but I didn't get the psychos, but in The Witcher 3, if you try and romance both uh, Trish and Yennefer, they're special psychos, they uh, tell you to meet a brothel and bring a good wine, then they tie you to the bed. Pull themselves like glass of the wine, saying, We've come to an agreement. We're no longer going to care about um, who you like. <laughs> Basically, they've agreed to like, stop being jealous of each other. Because, due to plot reasons, the main character lost his memory. He was originally dating Yennefer, but then she was abducted by the Grim Reaper in this universe, basically. And then was dating this other woman. And then, when his memory returned, he realized, Yeah. And so, I imagine, like, the sixth of the women he's, like, banged or something. Or in one room and said, you know what, let's punish him. Let's give him a session he'll never forget. Then he'll uh, never want to touch us again. Then, like, 
they cut, uh, they go to fight the Soapland because they're going to make a little mess. And then, like, six hours later, it was like, Jesus Christ, it's still going. And uh, it's like, grab me some of the water. I can go for Southern Brown. And then the women are uh, talking amongst each other and saying, wait, if we're going to really make him feel it, we need to bring out the big guns. And one of the women goes to the light and says, like, I brought this just in case. I hope I no didn't have to use it. And, like, she brings out an orange. And she just goes, like, deathly powers. Like, we don't have to do that, right? I mean, please... And then, like, uh, it cuts like half an hour later, and he, uh, his body like shrill, shriveled like a raisin or something. He's like, oh, hit me with that. Well, uh, give me some water, man. <laughs> and then all oh, the women just like, huh, finally. And then you just see one woman like, uh, like rubbing a wrist or something. I think I got cramped on my hands. Can yeah, you imagine happens. how fucking terrible your love life is that you're out there getting by the Grim Reaper? The Witcher 3 is a complicated tale. Oh, I can imagine. We must eat with no spoons. Yeah, I can. I misinterpreted that um, side quest. Of course she did. Well, because the wording is, no spoon of yours will satisfy you. And so, uh, in it, uh, she pulls like some kind of weird stew for both of us. And so I said, as girls, I was like, hang on. If no spoon of yours will satisfy you, then how about you eat with my spoon? No. The correct answer is, is to eat without spoons at all. Yeah, Witcher 3 had some fucking weird side quests. Oh, a CD Project Red, of course it is. At least it didn't have a million fucking glitches. No, it's not Skyrim. I genuinely think CD Project Red just got lucky with Witcher 3, though. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I genuinely think they just got lucky of how successful that was, and then they just used the clout from it. Is a gas out of jail free card for anything else they did? Yeah, that's why I imagine like that when you come by they agreed to uh, just like, wear him out completely, and so because he's got so much stamina, they're all going like full pelt, and uh, he's only starting to really feel it. And so they have to bring out the big gun, and he like drains so thoroughly, like his body is like all shriveled, and he's like he, the first time he's like, please, no more. Oh. Oh dear. Hey, Ichan. Yeah. Then uh, when they said, "Oh no, once we all get a good glass of water, we're doing that again," and then he said, "No." <laughs> and then another half an hour later, just everyone in the soapland is smoking, but is he smoking like a fat a Cuban cigar, and everyone else is smoking like various cigarettes? Like the the entire smoke land is just like filled with smoke. Smoke land, did you say? Yeah, the entire soap land is just filled what, with smoke land. Is that how they? Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. that's how much smoke they have in there, and then the camera just cuts to the inside of the soap land. <coughs> Don't worry. I'll take a second for your lungs to collapse. Like they've just smoked that much that they can't fucking see. Wait, what do you find? This is some kind of comic. No, no, she found a ring. Oh. Oh well. This is your doing. You wanted to be in this situation, so you get yourself out of it. <laughs> Why would he wear what is clearly a woman's Maybe the bartender's into drag, I don't know. You never know. He's a pretty mysterious I love the fact that's actually what he's saying as well. Oh dear. Oh, I see. Why don't I go out? Time for Richie to get the shit kicked out of him. Okay, you know what? I don't think this just um lower his bond with Psycho and everyone else. Probably. Yeah, you got yourself into this situation. Oh yeah, yeah here we go. Do you ladies know anything about this? What? And then like just the rest of them turn up as well. Remember, six women. Yeah, as I said, for my story is they uh, really try and punish him. You can see. Now be like that scene in. <laughs> is it Naked Gun Three? Where he comes back yeah. from home and uh, it has like an ice pack. But for us, that it's just like, would you like a film? Oh, what have we got? Dancing with Wolves? And then it comes back with like several different samples. It was very entertaining. I love the fact that, like, his first defense as well is, I wasn't doing police work, I'm having an affair. <laughs> like, that was one of the best fucking jokes in that movie. Yeah. Well, you think in the Soapland office, they just have the missing tapes of, like, the Watergate scandal and things. 
coincidence. Is that why the Chinese tried to bump him off? He knew too much. They got the missing tapes of the scandal. The Steve Irwin tapes. Um... Oh, fuck. The Steve Irwin tapes. The Sopanzono tapes. And, um... The tapes of that one guy falling off the roof at WWF. Okay, okay. Why don't we just talk this out? I'm sorry, I've been on a weird ass last me as he avenged the past few days. I think we should step outside for a bit. And unlike Persona 5, the bartender won't cover for him. What's going on? Seriously, that's the funniest part of the entire thing in Persona 5 is the bartender fucking covers for him. Mm. What? You oh, really if you just ruined the Legends of one, now what I would have done if I needed them to do this for an achievement is well for context, in the Skyrim there's an achievement for doing all the daid requests one of which was Where the uh, fuck did she pull that from? Holy shit Oh dear <laughs> oh god, when you break up in this city, you really break up with people. Again, you wanted to do this. Oh yeah, definitely. I want the item from it. There's an item? Yeah, you get plus ten of voice. <laughs> Not really, it's defense, but still. <laughs> I love how Eri just has a fucking voodoo doll. Like everyone else put actual weapons and she just put a voodoo doll in a nail. Yeah, you just lost your job as a CEO of an Andrew company just because you went to bang five other women. Was it worth it? Yeah. It's this is getting dangerously close to not respecting women. It it's so fine. Bad. Like, we're being railroaded onto it. No, you're close. not. Yeah, we you are. Didn't... I need... Yeah. Sam, we need that plus 10 defense for the super boss. Long ago, I got attacked by an armed helicopter. Hang on, what the fuck? So the doctor said I didn't have a chance. I get attacked Someone by an armed helicopter. Right? Oh dear. Don't you die on me, damn it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it is Snake in disguise. Oh dear. We've all survived something. So we should live strong. Anyway. What happened? Okay, so an earring got found in the room upstairs, and somehow that made me woman's greatest enemy. What earring are you? Oh, that. You know something? Oh, about please this? tell me he's about to claim it's his earring. Well, that just reminded me. I. Fuck's sake! Earring. It's his earrings. Change party last Christmas. That's of beautiful. I use for them, so I left them lying around somewhere. Uh, it was the goddamn oh, bartender's earring, Sam. So, what you're saying is... Are you still... Are you just drinking now? No, I'm just trying to think of what Ishii's reaction would be. You've got to be freaking kidding me. He just, like, the bartender just moves in so that he can have a go. Well, with the other women saying, Now, ladies, uh, I know this guy's an asshole. What do you reckon... No, with Ishii. Oh, well... <laughs> I, mean, I thought the whole point of this is she is not in the mood anymore. I mean, he got fucking hell! Within... No, he's doing it. He's doing it. Should clear up what? <laughs> the bartender oh, covered sweet. for him. You totally saved my life, man. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Yes. Oh. Oh. Forget about it. It's all. Fuck's sake. Hey, Kasuga-san. Isn't it still true that you're seeing another Where's this dialogue going? Isn't it still true that you're seeing another woman? Let's move along, Itchy. Let's move along. Okay, then. Glad we got that one straight away after saying, well, aren't you dating another woman? That's a complete non-fucking answer. Exactly. That's why it's funny. Good. I think we're ready to start doing the climax of this game now. And I think he's climaxed enough one day. 
<laughs> and on that note, we'd like to end the stream there. We'll see you all next time. Anything you'd like to add, Sam? What the hell are we going to call this one? I don't know, uh, but it's going to be brilliant. I'm uh, trying to think of the time that one gets into that off YouTube. Uh... <laughs> Marlon Brando Pirates Romance Tape to dissuade political opponent. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Good, and on that note, we'll see you next time.